Hey, what's going on, my golf spy? Um, this is the Encore Vero X2 intro unboxing. So from the looks of it, looks good, right? Nice clean box, true innovation, award-winning performance. Uh, so this ball is supposed to be long, unmatched distance and control. So they're pitching a proprietary perimeter weighted design for ultimate performance. Um, lower spin off the driver, high launch, combined to deliver more airtime, incredible distance. It's a four piece design. Um, it says the fuel is premium cast urethane. So, you know, from the looks of it, kind of cool. Um, so you pull it out and the balls uh, come in a nice sleeve like the colors, you know, it's, it's kind of got the open box in there so you can feel the, you know, the cover. So immediately when you take it out, you, you can kind of notice it's a, it's a premium golf ball. It's actually kind of got, you know, uh, a little bit of a tackiness to it, uh, different from, you know, a pro V I would want to say. It just feels like it's got a little bit of a more grippy core, but, you know, clean design, you know, with the Encore, it's got a nice alignment aid there. I actually kind of like the the yellow X in there. It, it kind of accentuates the ball. It's it's something different, um, you know, compared to your, kind of your stock Pro V1 and, you know, your Pro V1X. Um, you know, the, the balls, this one just feels a little bit more grippy to me. Uh, so kind of neat ob observation there. Uh, it does have fewer dimples in both the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. I think the Pro V1 has like 388 dimples. Pro V1X has, uh, I think, 340 ish. Uh, this one's touted about 322 dimples. Um, there's a little, a little bit more of a distinguishable line, um, you know, where they they put the, um, the urethane on there uh, compared to the the less distinguishable lines on the Pro V1, uh, Pro V1X. So interesting. So going to their website, um, you hop over to the website. It looks good. You know, they've done their work, you know, on, on the website. You can kind of see the price point here is, is $50 for a dozen of the X2. The, the Vero X1 is, is, is $40, I believe. Um, there are some opportunities for discounts, you know, I'll see them send out some, some coupon codes and stuff like that. So once again, it's, you know, it kind of talks about this, you know, uh, disruptive technology and that perimeter weighting, uh, you can see the clean line there. So I like to draw a black line on my ball. So I'll usually, you know, set the, uh, the line right on top of that. Uh, so that works. Uh, no, no big deals, uh, you know, for me there. So it is a firmer feel golf ball, 95 compression. I, I, kind of compare it to maybe the feel of a, um, you know, Pro V1X compared to the softer feeling of, of the Pro V1. Um, you know, I think the Pro V1 is, is, is somewhere in the 80s for the compression. Uh, Pro V1X is in the high high 90s. So that, that's going to kind of give you the firm feel. But from the feel of it to the touch, that, that cover feels like it's a little bit stickier. So it is built, uh, you know, for the, the higher swing speed profile. So the, the Vero X1 talks about 100 mile per hour. Uh, this is saying 110 plus, so lower spin, straighter tee shots. Um, you know, I, I, I'm guessing that it's going to grab, you know, based on the cover. It is a premium golf ball, so they got some reviews there. Um, kind of talks about this again, a lot about the technology, uh, the golfer profile. So you can, you know, watch a video um, on there. Uh, there's, there's actually some additional reviews, so you can kind of see what, uh, you know, other, um, you know, entities are saying, but uh, here, here's your comparison for the balls as well. So you know, maybe that Vero X1, you know, kind of compares in the field range to Pro V1. This Vero X2 compares to the uh, Pro V1X. Uh, you can see the dimples, so 318, um, which is fewer dimples than the Pro V1X or the Pro V1. You kind of talk about those two as, you know, maybe the most used golf ball um, feel firmer you know, compared to the X1, it's, it's firm. Uh, it is the lowest driver spin, um, you know, kind of that high launch uh, profile. They do have some customization on their website uh, and a, a fitting. It can walk you through some, um, you know, different uh, 
questions to see kind of what where you would fit on their their ball profile so you know, customization online you can kind of do this and get a quote um, and go from there uh but yeah so that's uh you know that is the start of the encore vero x2 uh, uh golf ball review for my golf spy uh, looking forward to it